Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the service level agreement, service level objective and the service level indicator. This is from the basics of system design. Uh, let's understand this by using the example of buying a car. So when we go to buy a car, what all questions do we ask the salesperson? First question can be about the safety ratings. How safe is the car? The second thing can be about the mileage. What is the mileage of the car? Uh, then we can ask about the pickup like what is the performance of the car and then uh, we can talk about the maintenance cost on a scale of three like good okay and poor the salesperson will try to make some promises to you like uh, he can say that the safety ratings are good uh, then he can say that the mileage is okay the pickup is good and the maintenance cost is okay right so these are all the promises which the uh, car vendor is making and the salesperson is representing the car vendor, right? So these all can be uh, thought of like a service level agreement. There will be certain specifications on paper uh, which are actually the legal promises made by the vendor and that actually represents your service level agreement. Now in this case it can be the specification of the car mentioning 148 bhp 250 newton meters torque and then they can also mention like a 0 to 100 under 10 seconds and they can mention high safety uh, low cost maintenance 15 kmpl mileage and so on right so these all can come under the service level agreement now out of all these actually uh, the vendor may not be interested in all of them to be monitored and whenever they are making the car they will be very specifically taking uh, certain things into consideration and uh, those all things comes under the service level objective so these are the individual things uh, which they are focusing on individual objectives one of them can be uh, like uh, making the car fast enough in acceleration in such a way that uh, it can achieve 0 to 100 kmph under 10 seconds so this is one promise which they are focusing on one objective uh, then the second thing can be uh, to increase the mileage and keep it around 15 kmpl mileage right so this is another objective that they are focusing on but focusing on something like low cost maintenance or high safety uh, it is kind of a vague term and uh, difficult to focus on because every country may have different standards and uh, it can vary from one country to another right so uh, this can be uh, considered like some of the filtered out points from the SLAs which comes under the SLOs which are the service level objectives now uh, from the promises which uh, was made in the service level objective actually let's say we have bought the car uh, seeing the agreement and uh, seeing all the promises made by the salesperson so we will now be driving the car and we see the real time performance to be 0 to 100 kmph in just 9 seconds uh, and it is uh, giving us 16 to 18 uh, kmpl in highway and then uh, 10 to 13 kmpl on uh, local drive right so these are the actual indicators this is the real time performance and then these SLIs which is the service level indicator is actually uh, showcasing about how much it is in compliance with the agreement which was made right how much is it in compliance with the SLOs as well. So if uh, the SLO mentioned that 15 kmpl is the mileage and you are just getting 10 kmpl then it is not compliant as per the agreement right as per the promises. And therefore SLIs are acting as an indicator like how much uh, compliant you are okay so I think you got a good idea between the SLAs SLOs and SLI so let's talk about them in terms of systems I would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in so the goal here is to uh, get both the vendor and the client on the same page about the system's performance agreement between the vendors and clients about the measurable metrics have to be made and uh, these are mentioned in the SLAs which is the service level agreement and uh, some of these agreements I have just mentioned uptime uh, which is equivalent to your availability uh, then you have responsiveness uh, which can be compared to waiting time and latency. Uh, then you have what responsibilities uh, that the vendor will be handling for the client 
So these all things uh, will be mentioned in the SLAs. Now, who actually makes the SLAs? So that is drafted by the business and the legal team. But these are all technical things. So how will these guys know about the technical stuff? Therefore, uh, there is some involvement of the tech team uh, who actually uh, are present with the business and legal team while making this draft on the SLA, right? So what does the SLA represent? Uh, it is about the promises the vendor makes to the clients. And the second thing it mentions is the penalties, like the consequences if the vendor fails to live up to the promise, right? So what will be the financial penalty that the vendor will be paying to the client because the client may be losing the business, right? It will be a bad quality of service. So after guaranteeing, if we are not uh, uh, living up to our promises, then we may have to pay, uh, pay financial penalties. We may have to uh, give service credits. That means you can use the service now and you can pay us later without any interest. Or we can uh, simply increase the license extension. One such example can be, let's say you have purchased netflix subscription for one month and let's say netflix was down for one week then you will protest that why i am paying uh, for one month when only three weeks it was available and therefore netflix may extend your license by another month uh, just as a grace period because they did not live up to their promise of availability right now coming on to the next point on slos which is service level objective slos are the individual promises which a vendor makes to the client okay and it involves only some very important measurable metrics because as i had given in the car example that all the metrics may not be uh, measurable in this case uh, let's take two of such points like availability promise of greater than equals to 99.9 percent .9 and uh, this is very highly measurable so yes this can be included into the slo but if the sla contained a bug solving time to be less than equals to 24 hours then we may not be able to actually deliver it in the slo because uh, maybe uh, the bug is dependent on somebody who is not available right the clients may not be available or answering on time or replying on time or maybe the engineers may not always be available and therefore uh, this will actually be excluded from the slo right so the service level objectives serves as a goal to the tech team which they must meet Okay, so I think uh, this should also be clear. Coming on to our third point, service level indicators, that is the SLIs, they show the real numbers on our performance, right? So the SLI measures the compliance with the SLO, as I had given in the car example. Uh, in this case, uh, if the SLO had the promise of, let's say, availability to be greater than equals to 99.9%, .9%, and if the actual availability turns out to be greater than equals to 99.95%, then the system is compliant okay we are living up to the promise so we should always deliver greater than equals to what we have promised right so under promise and over deliver and if the actual availability turns out to be 99.87 percent then we are non-compliant and hence we may have to face the penalties uh, which were mentioned in this case right which we will mention in the agreement fine so just to summarize the SLAs, SLOs and SLIs, we can say that SLAs are n number of promises we make and then the SLOs are some of the points which are filtered out from the SLAs and actually taken as the objective. So these are the goals which are given to the tech team and uh, the SLIs are actually the real time indicators. So how are we doing or how did we do right so that these SLIs will be compared uh, with the SLOs and the uh, SLAs right and we will see about the compliance according to what was the promise made and what are we delivering this will actually showcase the quality of service i hope you were able to understand uh, slas slos and slis if you have any doubt then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of the system design videos see you guys in the next video thank you